Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to tuning in for another episode of Bubba Smoking Hog Barbecue. I bet you can guess what day it is with what I'm wearing. Today is game day. It is college game day and I'm rooting for my team, the Alabama Crimson Tide. They got a big one today, um, later tonight actually, against the Georgia Bulldogs. Um, Coach Saban and Coach Smart, it's going to be the first time that they've met back in Tuscaloosa. So I think it's going to be a fantastic game. It's going to be a slugfest. Really smash mouth type of football game and can't wait for it. Um, with that being said, our game day cuisine today um, with the cool fall crisp air um, this time of year, I only found it fitting to cook a big, nice pot of some hearty chili, okay? And what I'm going to be cooking today is some deer chili with also some deer cheddar bratwurst. Um, I think that'll pair well tonight with the game. Um, so y'all stick around and we'll show you what we're doing next and best of luck to your team today, okay? Alright y'all, so the first thing with this deer chili that we're going to be doing today is browning the meat that's going to be going into um, our chili. Um, and I forgot to mention as well how I'm going to be cooking this chili today, um, which I'm going to show you later in the video, is I'm going to be using my cast iron lodge Dutch oven. We're going to be smoking it on the Weber Smoky Mountain 18 inch. So like I was saying, we're going to brown up our meat here. And what I've got is roughly about two pounds of some lean ground beef, 90-10%. And then I've also got a pound of some ground deer, um, some ground Kentucky deer um, that my grandfather, um, his buddy, had got for us. And so we're excited to incorporate this into the chili. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and brown this up. I'm going to add a little bit of seasoning to it, just probably a little bit of just salt and pepper. Um, and then once it gets browned up, we'll show you what we're doing next. All right, y'all, we're going to fire up our smoker here. Um, like I said earlier, um, for our smoked deer chili. So I'm going to be using my Weber Smoky Mountain 18 inch today. So I've just poured some coals. Um, I had a little bit, some used coals from my last cook. So I just put some new coals on top. I still got a little bit of hickory wood remnants in there. And so what I'm gonna do now is just use a few of these tumbleweed starters. Put these right in the center of my coals here. Let's go ahead and light these up. open up my intake vents here at the bottom make sure those are open all the way so we can heat up um, these coals and I am going to be having my water pan in the Weber Smoky Mountain day I'm not gonna put any water or liquid in it I'm just gonna use it as a heat deflector um, for the chili so We'll wait till these coals light up. I'm going to be cooking somewhere between 275 and 300 degrees today for roughly about four hours. So y'all stick around, show you what we're doing next. All right, y'all. We've got the Weber Smoky Mountain dialed in to our tent, and we've finished browning up our uh, deer, uh, ground deer meat and uh, ground beef. So now we're just going to finish uh, mixing in all of the rest of our ingredients for this smoked deer chili. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and put in chopped up about five chipotle peppers. So we're just gonna dump those in with the adobo sauce. And along with that, I chopped up one yellow onion. So we're gonna put this in here. And I have also chopped up one fresh tomato. So we're gonna put that in here, some chunks of tomato. Make sure you get all those in here. And now I have one 28 ounce can of some crushed tomatoes. So we're just gonna dump that in here. This will act as our tomato sauce. Put that off to the side. Excuse me, I'm gonna get a little napkin and wipe my hands with it. All 
I'm also, with more tomatoes, going to put in one can of tomato paste into our cast iron Dutch oven here. All right. And for our seasoning today, I'm going with one packet, of just original chili mix, as you see here. I've got to open up a little bit better than that now. So we're just going to dump this all into the bowl, or the pot I should say. I'm also going in two beef bouillon cubes. So just going to put these in here on either side. And then I'm going to use a little bit of the Weber garlic jalapeno seasoning. I really like this stuff a lot. I think it adds a really good flavor. So I'm just going to sprinkle in some of this in here. That should do the trick. And then to finish off with the rest of our liquid, we're going in with some beer, y'all. So I've got two Shiner Box here, some good Texas style beer. Uh, feel free to use whatever type of beer you'd like. Um, so I'm just going to pour each beer in, like so. And these have been sitting out on the counter with the rest of the ingredients. Get up the room temperature. this other beer in here what I'm going to do now is just stir all the ingredients together and then uh, once I do that I'll show you what we're doing out at the smoker okay so stick around I'll show you what we're doing next all right y'all so like I said smokers dialed in at 275 so we're going to go ahead and put on our uh, pot full of chili I did put a chunk of hickory wood on there as well. Add some extra smoke to it. I'll go ahead and turn our grate just a little bit. Let me get this on. All right, put the lid on. Come back, check on this in about an hour, y'all. Again, stick around. We'll show you what we're doing after that. All right, y'all. Our chili's been cooking for roughly about two hours now. So I'm going to take a look at it, stir everything up. And also, it's time to add our beans. Okay. Take the lid off here. Ooh, that's looking nice. Everything's simmering real good. Just going to give this a quick stir here with our chili. Smells fantastic, y'all. Really good smell. Make sure nothing sticks at the bottom of our Dutch oven here. Smelling good. All right, so we'll put this over here to the side. So for my first uh, kind of beans I'm putting in, I'm putting in one can of some black beans. I've drained um, this can, so. Go ahead and dump those in. And then for my second kind of beans, I'm doing some dark kidney beans. I've drained these as well. If you don't like beans in your chili, by all means, don't add them. And then just lastly, um, I got here some just chili beans, chili mild beans. So I'm just gonna dump these in here with the sauce. There we go. And give this a good mix. And we'll let this cook for about another hour, two hours or so. All right, y'all, so our chili is done. It took a total, uh, total cook time of about four hours in the Weber Smoky Mountain cooking between 275, 300 degrees. Um, getting that good hickory smoke and the good taste of the charcoal into the chili. Um, quick recap what we did today is I browned about two pounds of some lean ground beef and about a pound of some ground deer from Webb's Butcher Block in Painville, Kentucky. And uh, with that, once it was browned, I mixed all the rest of the chili ingredients and the uh, browned meat into my Lodge Cast Iron Dutch oven and let it cook um, on the Weber Smoky Mountain over some Kingsford, um, just original briquettes, and then one chunk of some hickory wood. Um, but y'all, this chili smells amazing. I went ahead and made a bowl for myself. So I want to go ahead and just kind of show y'all 
um, how I doctor up my bowl of chili. So, kind of as you can see here, what I always typically do, I lay a foundation of some Fritos. Uh, that's kind of like my crust for my Frito pie. And then I ladle in my uh, chili. And then on top of that, put some shredded cheese, some just cheddar cheese, and then some uh, diced up white onion, some fresh jalapeno slices, and then also, I uh, put on some cilantro, some hot sauce, and I squeeze a little bit of lime juice on it as well. Go ahead and give this a try. Let's see what we're working with here. Yeah. There we go. Mix all our ingredients in here, my chili, some sour cream, the cheese all mixed in. It's gonna be fantastic, y'all. Here we go. Hopefully it doesn't burn myself. Mm-mm-mm. That is amazing, y'all. Excellent, excellent flavors. Real good smoky grill flavor, along with all the other ingredients that we put in with the uh, ground lean, or lean ground beef and the ground deer. That is excellent, y'all. One of my favorite uh, ways to cook chili um, appreciate y'all tuning in for this video. Um, if you like what you saw today, just please like uh, the video. Um, leave a comment too if you want to. Um, and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. But hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. And again, best of luck to your team. Hope they did well today. And I hope that you all have a fantastic week. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Bubba Smoking Hog Barbecue. Cheers, y'all. See ya.